everyone, Rob here, and greetings from Wisconsin. Today, we're gonna to be talking about artificial intelligence, or AI. Now, trying to figure out the AI in a game like Clash of Clans can be frustrating. Wait, why did the queen... But that's mainly because only in the world of artificial intelligence can something that walks like a duck and quacks like a duck turn out to be nothing more than a guy just walking along trying to hold in a fart. <laughs> When you're looking at the artificial intelligence of a game like Clash of Clans, what you're really looking at the decision-making process. The nice thing about computer programs is they have to be predictable. Even if there's a bug, even if there's a glitch, with the exact same inputs and variables, with a program you'll always get the same results. Now the program can be complex and hard to figure out, but it still has to be predictable. <laughs> One way to gain a better understanding of a program's AI is to ask the question, what do you expect? The goal is to evaluate your current knowledge with real world results. If you expect your troops to behave one way and they act that way, then that would indicate you have a pretty good handle on the AI. However, if you expect your troops to behave one way and they act differently, then that would indicate an opportunity to learn. <laughs> With any AI, there are two events you need to be aware of. The first event is what I call the trigger. The trigger is anything that initiates the decision-making process. Take the archer tower, for example. When no one's around, it just sits there minding its own business. But when a troop comes within range, it's triggered, and it decides whether or not to shoot it. Now, the archer tower doesn't have another trigger until the troop it's shooting at is killed. After that troop dies, the process starts over again. And this is why any of the golem attacks work. If you distract the archer tower with a big boy, then the archer tower will continue to shoot at that troop while your other troops go to town on it. <sighs> After the trigger comes the decision making process. Taking a wall breaker as an example, the second you place a wall breaker, his trigger is initiated and he goes after, well, walls. It's his thing. However, what Wally goes after is also a part of that decision-making process. So if you place a troop down to distract and that troop causes damages to, say, the wall, then the wall breaker will naturally head towards the part of the wall with the least amount of hit points. That's why if you drop a wall breaker, he'll do one thing. But if you drop a wall breaker with the attack already in progress, it'll do another. Where this really shows up is in golem-based attacks. So you drop a golem in order to distract a wizard tower, for example, and the golem pounds on the wall. Meanwhile, you drop a wall breaker and it heads right towards the part of the wall of damage and the next thing you know he's killed by the splash damage that's not even aimed at him. In order to avoid this you either need to take out the wizard tower before, time the wall breaker to hit between strikes, or widen the golem so that they're just outside the wall breaker's eyes. There's no reason for the sniffing. Uh, I'm just using it to break up the video. So I'll conclude with a real world example. The other day, Jeb shared one of his go wipes. Here we see his queen already expo deep in the core of the base shooting at the town hall. You'd expect her to keep plugging away at the base, but then something happens. She stops, starts shooting at something else, and then leaves the core of the base to walk around and start shooting at the wall. Which leads me to... Wait, why did the queen... After walking through it frame by frame, you can see how she's attacking the town hall until she's hit by Larry's dirty cousin trap. That seems to be your trigger. With the skeletons dead, she then goes after what seems like a random wall, but is actually the wall between her and more skeletons. Now does her AI go after skeleton traps over defensive buildings? Or does her AI just go after targets that are similar to the ones she just attacked? Or does her AI seek out anything that just killed one of our troops? Right now, we don't know. We'll need to study more attacks to find out. But at least now we have better questions to ask. And that is a huge step in the learning process. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. Now go spend time with your family.